Let's start with an example that explains why we use state to begin with. I have a simple app up and running using V. On the left side, we have our code, and on the right side, we have our browser. Inside this component, I've created a variable called count and initially set that equal to zero. And then I've created a button that every time you click the button, we add one to count. And then down here, we're displaying what count is equal to. We go over to the right side and we click really cool button. We see that this is not actually updating. It's still set to zero, which is the initial value. We put a console.log inside of this onClick function to see what count is equal to after we set it equal to add one. Open up our dev tools, hit the button again. The variable itself is updating. The reason why it's not updating on the browser, however, is because this is not set up to use state. The beauty of React is that inside components, anytime that state updates, the component will then re-render and recompute itself. So the way that we can fix this bug that we've created here is to replace our count variable with state. So let's do it. The first thing I'm going to do is just import use state from React. And then I'm going to comment out this let count equals zero. And let's write out our use state hook. So first I'm just going to write it out and then I'll explain exactly what's going on. So I'll do const and then side of, and then inside of an array, I'll do count comma set count. And then I'll set this equal to the use state hook function, call this function with an initial value of zero. The way that this is working is that the use state hook returns an array of two values. The first value being the state, the second value being the function that will update the state. I've called the function that will update the state set count. Best practice is to name this function set and then whatever the variable name is in camel case, of course. The reason why we put these values inside of an array is because we're actually destructuring this array. We're grabbing the values from the array and setting them equal to variables. I have a video that'll be coming out soon all about destructuring if that's a little bit confusing still, so stay tuned for that. And then as I said, the initial state is set in here equal to zero. The same way that we did here with let count equal zero, having the initial value be zero there, we're having the initial value of count be zero. This will replace that count variable that we have down below with this stateful count variable. So you can see we have an error inside of our onClick function. That's because you can never ever manually update state. One, Reactful error. And two, the component will no longer actually behave in a Reactful way. If I replace this with instead the set count function, the new value will just be count plus one. We're just gonna be adding one to count every time we click this button. We'll get rid of this. Now when we click really cool button, we'll see it actually is updating on the browser which is really the beauty of React. We can create these stateful components that will re-render all on their own whenever we update state. One thing I also wanna to touch on really quick is that we actually can rewrite this. Instead of just setting this equal to count, which is whatever we have in state right now, plus one, we can base this off of the old state. We can make this a little bit more reactive by updating this to be a function instead. So if I use a function instead, the variable that we'll get inside of this function is actually the old value. So if we just call this old count and then replace this count variable with old count, we can see that this will still behave the exact same way. This is just a bit better practice and important to understand when you're using React that this is another way that you can do things. Definitely the better choice when you're basing whatever you're setting on state on the old value. Thanks so much for watching. So happy that you're here. This is the sixth video in this React series. So stay tuned for more. Next week, we'll have a video all about the use effect hook. Hopefully the state you're in now is understanding state. <laughs>